Hey, what is going on guys? So I'm going to be making a short but helpful video on when your games freeze and crash. And obviously it's extremely annoying and it's even more annoying when the game crashes and it's completely frozen and you can't close it out. It just refuses to close no matter how much you press the X or whatever. This is a workaround around that aside from restarting your computer because no one really wants to do that and there's no need for it so to get right into it let's just use google as an example say google is my game that's frozen and i cannot click anywhere i can't close it it is stuck there and normally i'd be forced to restart my computer so the way around this is what you do is you hold the windows key and then hit tab. Then here you will have this. It'll be basically be like alt tabbing, but you have this option to add a new desktop. And what that does is when you add the new desktop, it completely gets rid of Google. So what you can actually finally do now, now that you can click around and do stuff, you can hit control at delete, then open up task manager. And then we see Google here, we can actually end it. Boom, it's gone. And we can just do the Windows key and tab again and go back to our normal desktop. And it's gone. I wish I could show a better example of like a game actually crashing, but that would take a lot more time. And I would have to find a way to crash a game. But that is essentially what you do. It is very helpful. And I'm overjoyed, I, uh, my friend, show me this because it, it really is now you just never have to deal with that shit again you don't have to reboot your computer anymore you can just basically make a new desktop and then do what you would want to do through that anyways like i said it was gonna be a very short video just giving my two cents i guess and sharing some knowledge i hope you guys enjoyed and i really hope this helps you out i will talk to you guys later